In this video, you'll be shown a step-by-step -step procedure for writing formula, total ionic, and net ionic equations for a precipitation reaction. Here's the question. An aqueous solution of sodium sulfate is mixed with an aqueous solution of silver nitrate, and a precipitate forms. We're asked to write a balanced formula equation, a balanced total or complete ionic equation, and a balanced net ionic equation for this reaction. We'll start with the formula equation. The first reactant is sodium sulfate, which is made up of sodium, or Na plus ions, and sulfate, or SO4 2 minus ions. You can find the formulas and charges for all common ions on an ion table. The second reactant is silver nitrate, which is made up of silver, or Ag plus ions, and nitrate, or NO3 minus ions. Now we write the formulas for the reactants. Combining sodium and sulfate ions, gives us the formula Na2SO4, and combining Ag plus and NO3 minus ions gives us the formula AgNO3. Now for the products. This is a type of double replacement reaction, so to write the formulas for the products, we rearrange the ions. The formula for one product is obtained by combining the inner two ions, Ag plus and SO4 2 minus, and that gives us Ag2SO4, or silver sulfate. Remember the positive ion is always written first in the formula. And the formula for the second product is obtained by combining the outer two ions on the list, the Na plus and the NO3 minus. And that gives us NaNO3, or sodium nitrate. Now we need to balance the equation. There are two AGs on the right and only one AG on the left. So we put a two in front of the AgNO3 now we have two silver atoms on both sides. There are two Na's on the left and only one Na on the right. So we write a two in front of the NaNO3 to give us two sodiums on both sides. Notice we now have two nitrates on both sides and one sulfate on both sides. So the equation is now balanced. Now we need to add subscripts to indicate the phases of all reactants and products. We're told that the sodium sulfate is aqueous, so we write the subscript AQ here. The silver nitrate is also aqueous, so we write the subscript AQ here as well. So what subscript should we write on the silver sulfate? To find out whether it's aqueous or solid, we consult a solubility table. Looking at the sulfate section on the solubility table, we can determine the solubility of all common sulfate compounds. When silver ions combine with sulfate to form silver sulfate, silver is in the low solubility group. This means the compound silver sulfate has low solubility in water. Low solubility means it will form a precipitate, which we indicate with the subscript S for solid at the right end of its formula. Now we need to determine the subscript on the sodium nitrate. Looking up nitrate on the solubility table, we see that all nitrate compounds are soluble. Therefore, sodium nitrate is soluble, and we indicate that by writing the subscript AQ, or aqueous, at the end of its formula. So we have now finished writing the balanced formula equation. Part B of this question asks us to write a balanced total ionic equation. This can also be called a complete ionic equation. To write a total ionic equation, we break up all the aqueous compounds into their dissociated form, showing their individual ions. The sodium sulfate contains Na plus ions, so we write Na plus here. The subscript 2 in the formula tells us there are two sodium ions. So we write the coefficient 2 in front of the Na plus. Because the sodium sulfate is aqueous, it means both of its ions are aqueous. So we'll write the subscript AQ on the bottom right of the Na plus ion. The other ion in sodium sulfate is the sulfate or SO4 2 minus ion. Notice the 4 is part of the formula for the polyatomic ion SO4, so it stays down. Again, since the compound is aqueous, so is the sulfate ion, so we write AQ here. The first ion in AgNO3 is Ag plus. And the two in front of the formula tells us there are two Ag plus ions present. And since the AgNO3 is aqueous, so is the Ag plus ion. The other ion in silver nitrate is the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. 
The coefficient 2 in front of the AgNO3 means there are also two NO3 minus ions. And since the compound is aqueous, so is the nitrate ion. In a total ionic equation, we don't change the formula for the solid precipitate at all. We simply write its formula without any charges and include the subscript S for solid. We do not break it up into individual ions like we do for the aqueous compounds. Now the other product, sodium nitrate, is aqueous, so we must break it up into its ions. We write 2Na plus aqueous here and 2NO3 minus aqueous here. Remember the coefficient 2 in front of the NaNO3 means there are two sodium ions and two nitrate ions. Make sure you add the coefficient 2 to both of these ions. So now we finish the total ionic or complete ionic equation. It's good at this point to check this by adding up the total ionic charges on both sides and see if they're equal. We'll start on the left side. The total charge on two Na plus ions is plus two. The total charge on one sulfate ion is minus two. The total charge on two Ag plus ions is plus two. And the total charge on two nitrate ions is minus two. So all the charges on the left side of the equation add up to zero. Now we'll move to the right side. There are no charges shown in the Ag2SO4, so its charge is zero. Two Na plus ions have a charge of plus two, and two nitrate ions have a charge of minus two. So the total charge on the right side is also zero. This means charges are balanced in this equation. At this point, it would also be good to check that all of the atoms are balanced. So we've now completed and checked the total ionic equation or complete ionic equation. Part C of this question asks us to write a balanced net ionic equation. To write a net ionic equation, we discard all the spectator ions in the total ionic equation. Notice that the two Na plus aqueous ions on both sides are identical. This means Na plus is a spectator ion. Also notice that the two nitrate ions are identical on both sides. So the nitrate ion is also a spectator ion here. So the ions that remain on the left side are two Ag plus aqueous, which we write first because they are positive, and SO4 two minus aqueous, which we write here after the positive ion. The only thing left on the product side is the solid Ag2SO4, which we write here. Notice this is written exactly the same as it is in the total ionic equation and in the formula equation. So this is the finished net ionic equation. If we check the charges on the left, we have plus two for the two silver ions, plus minus two for the sulfate ion, which add up to zero. And the right side just has solid silver sulfate with no charge, so the charge on the right side is also zero. We see that the charges are balanced. We also see that there are two Ag atoms on both sides and one SO4 on both sides. So the net ionic equation is balanced. So we can summarize the answer by showing the balanced formula equation, the balanced total or complete ionic equation, and the balanced net ionic equation for this reaction. Make sure you can both identify and write each of these types of equations.